Hello everyone, I'm High Treason. It's been quite a long time, hasn't it? Let me fix this display. Oh jeez, and with that comes 50 hearts. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh I'm amazed that didn't freeze the recording. Why is this open? I keep closing this and it keeps opening again. Probably tell my Trinitron's burning out. Oh dear, uh, it shouldn't be in there. Oh, scan panel, my CIS scanner. I want another one. Those things are so good for pencil drawings. If anyone knows of like uh, a flatbed CIS scanner instead of a CMOS that's still in production that I can buy, especially if it's Windows XP compatible, like let me know because all all the uh, Artec ones are just they just die now. They they're just old and they just broken. They don't work anymore. Uh, they, they look pretty neat how they bug out, but it's it's pretty useless to, you know, and I want to draw rude things with pencils. I don't know how many people here have seen my drawings, they're not very good. I recently, you know, I've been threatening to do it for years, because, uh, you know, people go mad on these stupid weeb fucking cat girls, which I don't understand, and it's a bit shit, because, like, if you're going to be a degenerate like that, can you at least go all in? It's like, you know, I respect the fucking bronies more than I respect you. Because when the bronies drew rude things, they, they went all in. You know, they're like, well, I'm not going to draw my pony girl with human anatomy. I'm going to draw it with a, an equine-styled vagina and breasts because that's what it would have, right? Yeah, the cat girl ones don't do that. So I'm like, well, I'm, I'm going to have to draw that. And I'm like, well, I'm not, I don't really want to learn what that looks like, but... It's going to bother, like, more than one person, so technically, you know, it's worth it, isn't it? Because I drew that a while ago, and it was pretty horrible. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll timestamp the video, right? So, I'll do I'll start with bloody solitaire. But I'm going to test the Duke Nukem 3D level to make sure it works. And I'm really 100% confident it will work unless I've copied a broken copy in which is possible because I didn't test it beforehand but that's all right I'll just play an older one if it locks up or something that I know should work um, but for now we're just gonna update a little bit because it's been such a long time uh, I hope everyone's doing all right uh, the good thing with this channel and it's not lost on me is that nobody really gives a fuck that much to bug me to upload things uh, because to you, I'm just some random guy on the internet, and at most it'll be, gee, I wonder if that guy's okay, and that's about it. You, neither party, neither me nor you, feels obliged uh, to make or view or anything like that. And that's not lost on me, because I see a lot of other channels, you know, they'll yell at the guy, because he's, like, not uploaded for, like, a few days or something. <laughs> like, they feel that he owes them videos, you know. Uh, internet don't work that way, and a lot of them I'm sure just bail because the channel's not profitable anymore. I don't have that problem because I don't get paid. So, you know. Now, uh, this channel, and the main one, not going to be back in uh, frequent uploads anytime soon. I can never say never, but I've just got other things to do, quite honestly, and I'm going to do those things. This year, I intend to go outside on my bicycle as much as possible and I've got loads of work to do on my house because if I'm expected to live in this shit all I expect to have things like you know hot water and kitchens and sewers that work currently dealing with that you know my neighborhood it's like when we had the rat problem you know and I was the only person who did anything because it's oh well you just get used to rats you just live with them is the, the attitude of people around here and I love rats. I think rats are brilliant, but you don't have varmints in your house, and when you get them, you get rid of them as quick as possible, because the quicker you kill them, the less you have to kill. You know, that that's it. You've, you've had, like, you know, maybe five of them that could get in the house, and you've, you've just got rid of them. You've eradicated them. They're gone now. Instead, we had, like, hundreds of the fucking things, because no one else would kill them. It's like, well, there's no need to do that. It's like, yeah, there is. They cause loads of property damage. And guess what? They damage the fucking sewer. 
but no one's bothered that the sewage all over the gardens and shit because, you know, well, you just get used to that, don't you? You just live with that. That's normal. It's just a thing that happens. These people are fucking retards. I get sick to death of it. Bunch of fucking clowns. You know, I'm... I'm yeah. So hardware-wise, I'm sure you can hear that beautiful 50 hertz buzz. Because it's an Digi 2. Uh, you know, they're not really good. Can't use them for music anymore. I had to come up with my own shit. So music stuff will have to be done on a Pentium 3 now. Uh, it'll actually be done on the Presla, but recording of all the music channels will be done on a Pentium 3. Which is ugly and not what I wanted, but it's what we've got to do, so <laughs> it'll have to do. Uh, it's not really fantastic. But yeah, I'm going to have to work on my house a lot. And I want to go outside a lot. And in all honesty, I'm not 100% sure what to make videos about. Because it's been so long now. So if you have suggestions for things you think I should talk about on the main channel. Or things I could play here in my spare time. By all means, suggest away. I'm not saying I'm going to do it. But... <laughs> But I'll certainly take it on board. At the moment, I just can't see myself having the time to do it. And plus, I want to write more books uh, as well. So, you know, that, that's a thing. So, yeah, but uh, as I say, I can never say never. You know, maybe one day I'll be like, I just really feel like doing that. And maybe I'll have nothing to do. Maybe when I get to the end of all this bullshit fucking repairs and renovations that the council are going to be extremely angry about, I'm sure tough shit, uh, you know, they're just going to have to get used to it. You give me a crap old house and expect me to live in it, then uh, these things are going to happen. And they won't like it, because it'll cost them more than the building's worth to put it back how it was. But yeah, uh, you know, that's, uh, you know, maybe when that's all over, I'll have a patch where I'm like, I am so fed up of just doing shit that I'll just want to sit and and do video things. I, d I don't see it happening, but like I say, it could. You know, I can never say never. But, you know, as I say, hopefully everyone's doing fine. I'm glad neither of us feel obliged in either direction to really do absolutely bloody anything. Uh, that works for me. That's that's good for me. That that's uh, That's just how I like it. I want to win a game of this. I'm fucking annoyed. I hate Solitaire. I shouldn't have started with Solitaire. Fucking shouldn't. I should know. I've not lied. Like, this is the definition of insanity. It's like doing the same thing again and again. I'm expecting a different result. Well, I suppose it's not insane because I at least expect the result I know I'm going to get, which is that the game's going to basically just rip me off. You know, they go, oh, well, it doesn't cost money or anything. It costs time. I can make more money, like, you know, maybe not loads of it, but I can make more of it if I really, really need to. Might have to do some horrible things that I don't want to talk about, but you, know, <laughs> you can technically always make more money as long as you've got some sort of skill set. But you, you can't make more time, that doesn't just manifest out of the ether on demand. It just sort of happens and there's, there's not much you can do about it. Now, th this game's definitely screwing me, isn't it? I don't know if we've got a black nine. I'm just going to guess we have uh, and go for it. I want to win a game, you fucking dickhead. Fuck you. But yeah, no, uh outside of all that that was the wrong move I should have put that king oh no well I can't undo it now because I've done that ah shit well that was a royal cock up wasn't it well anyways um, yeah cocks going up aside just put that on. what else are you even going to do uh, I actually feel pretty good in myself right now you know, I don't feel shit. I don't feel uh, awful or anything. I've got the usual sort of troubles, but uh, you know, not, nothing's really hitting me that hard right now. I don't know how long that'll last. These these things have a tendency to be rather fleeting, don't they? But 
you know, it's, uh, I'll make the most of that, that's for sure. Because uh, I'm, at the moment, not in too bad of a place. I'd, I'd like to be in a better place than I am, but <laughs> you, you can't have it all. So, but you can have some of it. And if you can get some of it, then that's better than none of it, right? That's technically a win, so... Uh, yeah, you know, you, you can't... Yeah, can't, can't complain. So no, I'm 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 fine. Feel pretty good. Exercising a lot, you know, working out and stuff. That's that's been uh, that's been good because I can finally do that again. Because you know, it's, it's a long time since I've I've been that way, and I like being that way. I don't I don't like being sort of lethargic and sitting around doing nothing. That's not me. I've never been this way. I, you know, I've always been sort of active. You know, I remember like early sort of YouTube, you know, was, uh, I didn't appear on it a lot because I just didn't have time. And even if I did, I wouldn't have used it on YouTube. I would have been outside on my bike or something and I, I can do that again at the moment. And I don't know how long that will last. You know, the last time that happened, they stopped making the uh, medication for my stomach. So, you know, I finally on some it seems to work. It took years and years to sort out, and yeah, I'm not going to waste that. I'm, I'm going to go outside and move around, and like I say, the, the good thing with this channel, I don't think that's going to upset anyone, and, and it shouldn't upset anyone. You know, it's there's something wrong if the thought of that's upsetting you. Like I'm not here for you. Uh, you know, you're not really here for me. We're just strangers on the internet. But, you know, it's it's nice to communicate and sort of share some fun with whatever, but, you know, there's there's no, no sort of strings attached with this. Uh, yeah, sure, throw that in there, whatever. Now I can move that, right? All right, well, that's not very useful to me right now, but, I mean, it's, again, technically uh, better than nothing. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll we'll get that jack out because again, that's it's progress, isn't it? You know, you're going somewhere by doing that. If we do have a red king, I could probably move that. Uh, we can build either stack, but I'd like to just get that out of the way first because. Oh no, that was... I wanted the Red King. Thankfully I could undo it. Leave. Yeah, there you go. Alright, that's actually pretty good. That's really good because I basically get that for free now. And that's not really useful. But I think we are just going to have to stack build here. So the, the other one of those kings is out. So we, we can basically just put that jack down. And really that ten as well. Because it, it's not... Not doing anything. So that's a red, uh, uh, a, a black, uh, I'm fucking hell, I'm just not with this today. Uh, I think we had a red seven. If we do, the other eight's in there, so it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, so yeah, I can actually move that. Alright, now that's, that's not awful. It's not awful. It's not really what I wanted. But it's not the worst. So... What I would want is you might as well put that out because the other one's in there. So there's just no reason not to. But really we need to be concentrating on this stack. So do we have a red eight? It all sort of hangs on that now, I feel. Yeah, I would have liked to have been uh, able to get that, but it's not really on the cards, uh, seven. So we want to build this other red stack. So I have that, but I don't think I have another red eight in here, so... We're sort of screwed. Uh, I think we might have got as much out of this as we can. We've got all the aces, at least. I don't know, you might be able to do something. We don't really have to get that far with it, do we? Uh, so we want six of hearts. We can get that. 
If I can get rid of... So I don't have a four of clubs, do I? I do. Five of diamonds? I have a five of diamonds. Six. So can I get rid of the seven of spades? And then I can move that. Uh, I have a six of clubs. It's not really... Well, I mean, I can get rid of that one that way. That'll work. So I have a five of spades. I have an eight of uh, diamonds. And then we have that jack, which I guess... Do we have? We have the queen. Whoops. My mouse. You can tell it's optical. It's misbehaves. So we have a nine. We have an eight. And a seven. And I think we just won the game. Good, that's nice, because I've just about run out of things to speak about uh, otherwise. I could go on for ages and ages about uh, legalese, fucking bullshit, and this and that, but uh, I'm not going to. So, that's solitaire. Oh, man. Bloody computer noise in the ears. It doesn't seem to come out as bad on the recording, but... You know, when we played Mary's Edge and shit, I mean, that, that was a waste of my time, or all, all that, the big event, because it... All the shit that that was about, we're right back where we started. We're on 2000s hardware, you know, for, for videoing and shit now. Oh, jeez, that's how we slogged uh, through editing that last part of the long drive, doing time-lapse of the whole fucking road, and let's face it, I make that game look bloody easy is, uh, yeah, do that on a 2005 computer that's dying. Random question fire. When you order hard drives, do they consistently send you the wrong ones? Because I, I have that, and I'm about running out of places to get them. Uh, you know, without just importing them. Because they just send me the wrong ones, and they're, like, way off. You know, you order, like, a, a Western Digital Enterprise drive, and they just send you a broken Seagate Barracuda of a random capacity, and it's like, well, that's an equivalent. So in what fucking well is that an equivalent? I finally found two that I might trust. I ordered for the Pentium 3 that I'm going to have to use for music, which I don't really like. It's a, a single thing. It's never going to replace my nice dual slot, but that thing's long dead. Uh, you know, I ordered some drives from a seller in Liverpool, and they turned up today, and they're actually what I ordered, which is incredible. They're 40 gigabyte Samsung spin points, and they seem to work. Um, I ordered laptop hard drives for my laptop. It's, it's like busted anyway, so but whatever. And they sent the wrong ones, but uh, and where were they? They're in London, I think. And they at least refunded me more than half the cost of them. So, and they did very quickly, which makes me think, you know, that that was a genuine human error because it was at least conceivable the discs were the same model, they were just the wrong capacity. So it's like, all right, now they might be okay. So those two will be my, my first stop. But my poor Discord group must be tired of hearing me because they've sent the wrong hard drive to the point where if you're in that group, which is basically dead, so if you're not, don't fucking bother with it. Um, you know, I didn't even post all the fucking times it happened because I'm just like, people must be sick of hearing about this. I'm not even posting this one. Sheesh. Well, anyways. I have been working on an episode for Duke Nukem 3D, and I just work on this every now and then. It's going to be six levels, kind of across eight maps. Sounds weird. It'll make sense uh, if and when it releases. I'm aiming for the end of summer, but, you know, you never really know, do you? And this is the first level of the episode, not entirely complete. It likes to crash on my Xeon. It uh, doesn't crash on anything else. I've been fiddling with it to try and fix it crashing on there. Haven't been successful, but I just want to make sure I haven't broken it. So, well, we'll have a look and we'll make sure it's the lamest, most mundane map of the entire episode. And this episode's for the DOS version of the game. It won't work in modern ports, uh, in all likelihood. In fact, I'm fairly sure it won't. I've given no consideration to them. It is not my job to run around figuring out what crappy ports have done to break compatibility with the game. That's that's none of my concern. Uh, you know, especially not when it can change at a moment's notice. So, 
unfortunately, uh, when I get to releasing it, if you want to play it, you're going to need either a, an old accurate port, like X Duke or something. Why is there a broken jumper cap on my desk? Top of it's clean smashed off. I've never seen that before. You know, you're either going to need an old port like that that's fairly accurate, or just to run the DOS version, running DOSBox or some virtual PC now, can't you? I would think. You'd probably do hardware virtualization these days. I imagine that's widely available. There should be a voice line here, and, you know, it's, it's not in yet. But, you know, it should have Duke giving it some shit about Damn, it isn't the 4th of July. But I don't know who's going to do the voice for that yet. Preferably not me. I have someone who says they'll give it a go. So it'll probably be them unless I find somebody better at it. I could do with fixing the texture repeats actually there. I'm amazed I missed that. Oh dear. It's a noise texture. Odds are no one will notice and I've only seen it because I've been staring at it in the level too long. This room looks quite different if you play this in a modern port. It, it does things. It won't stop you playing it, but it, it is going to tell you off. And if your port sets off what it does, that pretty much tells me, you know, well, tells the level. <coughs> and by extension then me, that what you're doing, you know, your port is probably not capable of playing this thing. Oh dear. That's pretty mo uh, morbid, isn't it, that? Let's be honest. Bit of an overreaction to the situation. Dear me. Yeah, like I said, this is by far the, the least interesting map of the pack. Because the goal with this one was I just want it to feel like you're playing Duke Nukem 3D and that's it. Guess it, it gives the player a feel for how I design levels. I know the mirror's broken. Uh, it's on the to-do list to fix, but I probably won't be able to get rid of all the render bugs. There's quite a lot of things in the episode. It's one of the worst examples of it, of me basically just being like, yeah, fuck it, you know, this is going to happen. We're, we're in the DOS version. The render is janky. Ah, don't jump down it yet. I'm giving away the, uh, not the secrets, but I'm giving away completionism shit. I delay it to annoy the completionists. We've got trains up there. And suspended rails. See, I quite like trains, actually. They're pretty neat. Someone's going to put that out of context. Thing is, I don't understand all the bashing on uh, train enthusiasts. Like, you know, eh, trains are pretty neat. I wouldn't say I was, like, fanatical about them, but they're pretty cool. You know, I've got to promise myself when I get old I'm going to build a big fucking model railway. I always, I love model making. I ain't done it for years. I used to be, like, model workshops and all the machinery works. So I used to pour hours and hours into it. I always wanted a model railway. Uh... But I, I don't get it. Like, those people you get bashed on, you know, it's like, oh, it's in trains, you know. But if you like soccer, and you, that just sort of possesses your brain. A lot of pistol use in this episode, by the way. Get used to that. It's an effective gun, the pistol, when you wield it properly. You know, you're, you're a bloody soccer bit. You're, you're a normal, functioning member of society. That's acceptable and fine. But if it's trains, nah, that's that's a bit weird. It's like, how does that work? These trains are fucking useful. And here's, here's another slightly ugly thing in this, and I should have not killed them as quick. There's an invisible floor here. And you haven't, like, noticed, you might have not, but... 
it's there for a reason. This is something that comes up a lot with uh, level design. Um, and us people who design levels for this game actually talk about this sort of semi-regularly. Right? It's sort of gameplay versus realism. You, you wouldn't have an invisible floor here, but these guys go in and get stuck because they go straight through the fence this way but can't get back. Whereas you go in, like, you sort of jam on the fence, you try and jump out, and it's bloody awkward. So it's better just put an invisible floor there. It's one of the most brazen, ugly examples of it, but it's sort of a thing to, you know, think about. So we phase through furniture sometimes as sprite furniture and shit. My echo effect's not working down here, that's going on the fix list. Uh, it's supposed to be an echo effect. Yeah, must have set the wrong parameters. Now, if if you want to sort of watch, like, people nerding out about shit like, you know, in build, then uh, there's actually a guy called The Legend of Devon who's played some of my Eduke levels, so I'll link to that. And me and uh, other people who map for this game actually probably just slowly damage his brain more and more every week by rattling on about shit like that. Okay, well... I think they're a bit angry with us. But he's played other stuff as well, but I'll just link to when he played my stuff and I'm sure you can find the rest of it. Easily enough. I figured I'd mention that, because, you know... A, it's pretty neat, and B, you know, the guy did sort of play through my levels, so... <laughs> and my levels are horrible, really. Oh no, the Vanishing Water was back. I don't think... that's one of the render bugs I don't think you'll ever get rid of, probably. There's just too much shit goes on. Well, what do you expect? It's just like real life. Of course, I'll paint the fucking shed today, and of course, when I'm knelt there, right next to where the fucking sewer is, the neighbour decides to pull the fucking chain, don't they? Oh, yeah, right on. Great. Just what I fucking always fucking wanted. All of them, fucking shoes. You got really cheat here. Now, I wouldn't advise trying. gun now, don't I? I might as well use it. It's not like I'm going in the other maps. So yeah, target is to get out here. If we'd paid attention at the start, we would have seen our uh, end goal. It's trying to feel like a Duke map, but all the locked, unlocked ship tickets sort of gives away you know, you're playing a Zeph map. You know you're playing a Zeth mech when, uh... Oh, this is where he ended up. Oh, shit. Hell, yeah, he's going gun crazy. Yeah, you ain't getting out there. So we have these morons to deal with. I would come and deal with them right now. I like the concert. Raw, raw, raw. But yeah, we we, we got we got problems because we got to get over there. Uh, not actually hard to do. Yeah, the trains. Hey, this will crash it in the on the Xeon. No, the frame rate will shit the bed a bit if you look over there. The intention was to have 15 frames a second as much as possible. 
well, or higher, obviously, but there's a little bit of allowance made for, uh, for it to go below, so yeah, that moves that. You don't have to stray front. Oops. Well, they fell off. It was a bit slow. But yeah, you don't have to stray front, but the timer is quite tight on that, so I'd recommend just stray running anyway. So actually, this is another one of those gameplay of a realism things, the stars. You know, say we have smooth movement up and down? Because you're, you're actually going through the stars. You're, you're not... You're not colliding with them, the blocking's off. And that's another thing, because they're on a slope here, it's like, well, it's time blocking off. It's smooth gameplay, even though you wouldn't actually phase through stars in real life, quite obviously. So yeah, level design theory lessons for you, though. Uh, I want to do more dupe mapping to boot. It is on the list. I don't care whose asses they are, they're all on the list. Stone Cold's time has come. Yeah? What are you gonna do? Thought so. I fucking thought so. What a fool. Yeah. Uh, shotguns at a distance. I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's like watching a girl try to piss in a urinal for the first time. It, most of it doesn't land in the right spot. It does amuse me actually how unfamiliar with that function women are. Like, on average, like us dudes, we get the hang of that very early on. You know, you, you experiment with it a little bit. Can you get the ceiling with it, you know, things like that. I mean, I'm getting to an age now where that's a bit difficult. It's like, I had to sort of tilt it a bit farther back, and I, how sort of straight up do you want to point it before it arcs over backwards and you look like the personal guy trying to put a fire out on himself, you know. How would a girl do that? I guess you'd have to do a handstand or something. But anyways, yeah, you know, it's just like, do you never... Did you never think to play with that? Like, <laughs> some of them do. The, the ones I end up been around, usually. But on average, they just don't seem to experiment with that. No, that, to me, as a guy, is just weird. It's just one of them things you do when you're growing up. You, you just sort of mess about with that, don't you? So that is the first map of my episode. Not quite finished. I didn't get the secret on purpose. Oh, there's the least amount of secrets out of all of them. Sure, so we just keep playing Duke for a few more minutes. I, I ain't got long, but yeah, you know, sod it. Let's 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 play through the first couple of levels or something, you know. So yeah, uh, that I'm aiming for the end of summer. I've still got to do all the music. I've got to get voices done. Not many. Uh, you know, I get someone to do Duke, hopefully. And uh, I will be like EDF radio guy. It's like, right, he's not in it much. But, you know, right, right at the start, you know, you have Duke going on about, hey, this isn't the 4th of July or some shit like that. And then as he's walking out, like, you know, you hear radio squelching and, you know, some voice coming on like, Duke, there's been a massive, like, thing detected just off the coast and stuff. You need to... Like, do something about it. Because you Duke Nukem. Waste the fuckers, you know. Obviously with more vigour. And I, I don't think he really says much else. Like, he sort of intros a level or two and then... Past that point is just, uh... You know... Some, announces, uh, yeah, and I need someone to voice act the boss, and I've got to write a bunch of music. It's be fun. See if I can do Duke Nukem style music. I've never tried that. 
I keep wanting to try and write a Banjo Kazooie style song. Oh, really? All right. There you go. I didn't say I'd do it quickly. But you did ask me to kill you, so. It is polite to uh, acquiesce the requests of a lady, isn't it? I think. Uh, not many ladies around now, just women with bad attitudes. And, uh, unfortunately, I'd, I'd sort of subscribe to the thing of if you're rude to me, I'm just going to be rude back. So. <laughs> that one was polite. But yeah, uh, episode gets sort of different and even a bit weird later. I mean, I designed it. And you know what happens when I go to this game. And probably we're a bit of a dying breed now as, uh, as builders, you know. There's not, not that many of us left. Uh... I want to make a quiz. I've sort of got a rough version of it, you know. And it, it's going to work a bit like, uh... You know those stupid which Hogwarts house are you in ones? Sh shall we... We should 100% this, shouldn't we? Just for old time's sake. I'm playing keyboard only, by the way. It's gonna, you know, what what type of builder are you? Is uh, what it's about, and it goes everywhere from you just probably pirated the game and played it once to, you know, you you're some sort of evil dark sorcerer, uh, alchemist. I think's the uh, highest one, which is above me. I sort of come out as a dark sorcerer. Sorcery! Yeah, I'm running out of disk space. Oh no, I missed the secret. I don't care. I don't care. Well anyways, yeah, I'll be fucking this off in a minute. See how quickly we can render it. Can't imagine it'll be uh, all too slow to render. Actually, I'll be able to go back to using uh, XVID. XVID and the uh, MP3 audio. So we should be able to render turbo speeds once I get that set up. Take my, I don't know if I have my XMLs for that anymore. I should do. I was amazed when I was doing uh, TLD, like, you can tell when it, what was rendered on the Presler and what was pre-rendered with the Xeon. And it's not like the Xeon's worse at rendering quality-wise, you know, it'll give you the exact same quality with the same parameters, because it's a CPU-bound render, I don't use the video card to do it, because then the quality does degrade. GPUs tend to take a lot of shortcuts, and if you rig them not to, then the performance isn't really any better with sort of your standard codex, like, you know, it's 264 and whatnot. So, over time, as my PC's been getting crippled, I've obviously turned things down. And so the bloody render quality is, like, awful now. I saw a dude. There he is. Oh, I was a bit slow on that, wasn't I? I thought this area was pretty scary when I was a kid. Not to the point where it's like, oh, I'm scared, I'm not going to play it anymore. It's just like, oh, jeez, that's not very nice, you know. <laughs> it's not a nice place to be. And then still went there anyway, but then I suppose I wasn't really a sissy kid. I was for a short time, and I toughened up pretty quickly. You know, it's like going to school, like especially, it's so, oh, no, you, 
if someone bullies you, you should always tell the teacher. You know that exists just so you can see that their eyes glow red. So tell the teacher and what do you get? Ah, stop telling tales, you're just a little telltale, go away. So, it's like, alright, what if I just fucking... I'm bigger than they are. Like, what if I just punch them? <laughs> what if I thump them and knock them to the ground and make them cry? Maybe then they'll stop. Oh, that worked. And of course you get told off for it. Luckily, I didn't recognise teachers as an authority. They so we sure we're gonna write a letter to your mum and dad. It's like, yeah, go for it. Because they won't give a fuck. You know what my mum and dad will do? They'll be like, why did you do that? And I'll be like, because the fucker kicked me. He fucking kicked me in the shin, so I punched him in the face, and then I jumped on top of him when he was on the floor, and I kept fucking punching him until they dragged me off him. And they'd be like, oh good, that's what you should do. Because now he probably won't do it again unless he's a total fucking idiot. I think the problem with a lot of people in the world today is that they've never been punched, you know? I mean, jeez, when I was growing up, you just punched bloody everyone, you know? It looked like he did a forever fact then. I mean, geez, that was how you made friends, you know, as, as, as a boy. You, you beat the hell out of your best mates. That was how you made friends with them. You, you hated each other. You got into a bit of a scrap. You you punched each other's lights out a bit. And it was like, no, he's all right, actually. I'll, I'll hang out with him. He's pretty cool. And then you still used to scrap anyway. The only difference was you weren't really trying to hurt each other that much anymore. Sort of the latter half of my generation and the generation after just don't seem to have done that. But yeah, no, and there's the thing because they, they did bullying in a different way. Like, I got to witness the old bullies that would hit you and, you know, just be fucking horrible and rotten and. You know, slap you around a bit, and you could deal with them because that was the language they spoke, and so you just fucking slap them about even more in re return, and they fucked off. Whereas what you ended up with after us was cry bullies, you know. So and they're worse because the thing is, they didn't work on me in that environment because you know they weren't they didn't have such a good foothold back then because they were still just kids. So they depended on getting a teacher, get the authority, the nominated authority of whatever establishment it is. They come over, they cause a load of shit, get you to hit them or something, and you know, they'd, they'd fucking thump you fast. But of course they deny that, and oh, this is hitting me because they're real good at timing the tears on, so you get yelled at. The problem with that is it falls to bits when you don't recognise the same authority they do and well I sure as shit ain't going to be intimidated by the teacher as aforestated so then, I, then me and my mates would just like kick them around for grassing because you don't grass that's, that's rude that's bad manners you don't do that shit. No, no one likes a grass. Let's just use this up because I'm going to stop when I finish this level. No one likes a grass. So, you know. Uh, and nowadays, you know, they've got into all of the uh, positions of authority themselves. But that approach is still somewhat effective. Just, just don't let them have any power over you, you know. Just tell them to fuck off no matter what. They crumble pretty quickly. 
you know when I tell people about my youth and stuff like going back to that you know I quite often get oh, I was you was a bully at school it's like no no I wasn't that's just the, the sort of place I grew up you know that that was just how the place worked and if you weren't that way you got your head kicked in that was good for you Bill, builds character builds resilience Right, well, I think that'll do for this one, because I've got to go to sleep anyway, and I'm about out of disk space. So, it's good to see you. I don't know when I'll be back or what I'll be doing next. Like I say, feel free to make fucking suggestions, and I'll take them on board. Uh, but yeah, I definitely want to get back to Duke Mapping to be. We'll have to get into weird things like slope stack undrawing and shit like that. Uh, that's going to be pretty fun. I don't know how many people understand it in the slightest. I'm not sure anyone else does. I guess that's probably why I should make a video about it. Uh, all sorts of weird things. On well, the main channel, I don't know. We've, we've got electronics projects to do still, so I'll get to that. Uh, probably do a video on the shitty Pentium 3 at some point, I suppose. It's not shitty. It actually works really well. It's just not my dual slot. I'll always miss that. And I think that's the problem that I'll always compare the two and I, I shouldn't because they're not the same thing and they, they aren't meant for the same thing you know they weren't in the same market really and they, that's not far to it so maybe we should do a video about that at some point that might make me feel better about it you know force me to spend time analyzing it and you know maybe then I'll be like you know what that's it's pretty good I actually like it because I should like it uh, yeah well anyways uh, I guess that's it I guess now I've got to stick this together with the poor old fucking Prezla and all my mushy fucking black magic fucking quality that we've got. Holy crap. I don't know how long we've got capture for because that card's quite clearly dying. It's the AD chip on them, I swear, because the failure mode's the same on StarTech and they use a very similar chip from the same company. And because the other every other component's different and the failure mode's the same, you have to think it's the one part they have in common, logically, should be the cause. But that, that doesn't mean that it is. That's, that's really just to my best guess. Which, yeah, my gut instincts are actually pretty decent usually, but they don't have a 100% success rate, so I guess you'd have to test this for yourself. And nobody's likely that interested. So anyways... I'm going to fuck off now, and I don't know when I'll be back. I'm going to go buy cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, anyways, I like reason. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again when I see you.